came to the salon in a regular appointment but in terrible condition. Our employees didn't feel confident enough to groom him, so they called me because I have more experience with such a neglected dogs. At the same time, we saw an opportunity to film the dog because you all like to see transformations like this one. When we made the appointment, the owner didn't tell us that the dog is in horrible condition, which is not okay, because we don't practice bringing regularly groomed dogs together in the salon with dogs that are neglected. What do you think about that? Is it a good move or is it a discrimination? Fortunately, this dog is neglected, but at least it's free from fleas and ticks. After removing all this matted fur, I bat the dog. The reasons why I shave the dog before batting is that because it's unnecessary to bat all this and then dry it off. And why I shave the dog again after batting, you will find out when we get to that part of the treatment.
Before I take the dog for a bath, I want to tell you that we have a blog website petgroomhouse.com where you can read interesting articles about grooming and about pets. Check it out! Now it's time for bed. Of course, we use highest quality cosmetics on all dogs, be they neglected or regular customers. After bathing, of course, drying follows. It is extremely important to dry the dog well to prevent potential skin irritations. Moist skin is a good environment for development fungal infections, itching, allergies and so on. The main reason I shave paws is to prevent a dangerous grass like foxtail from getting stuck in a paw. Also, a shaved paws bring less dirt into the house.
Now it's time for shaving a body again. It is important to shave the dog after bathing again because only clean and brushed hair I can shave so it looks nice and smooth. By that I mean that there are no steps on the hair and that the whole surface looks nice like the dog was born with short hair. Scissors are important because I can do things with them that I can't do with the machine. Every groomer loves their scissors. My scissors are my babies. If you are a groomer, what do you think about that? Am I crazy or you also have a special relationship with your scissors? At the end of the treatment, the dog turned out very cute. He is totally different now compared to how he came. Do you remember him? Don't forget to give us support. Like and subscribe. Thanks. See you in the next video.